हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक वेरी हैप्पी न्यू ईयर टू ऑल ऑफ यू गाइज आई सिंसियरली होप योर विशेज टू कम ट्रू इन दिस ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर इन द लास्ट वीडियोज वी डिड बिल्ड एन अमेजिंग एप्लीकेशन कॉल्ड रेजमे बिल्डर एंड पासवर्ड नाउ आई एम बैक विद वन मोर एक्साइटिंग एप्लीकेशन विच आई एम नेमिंग इट एज ऑर्गनाइज सिंपल जस्ट इमेजिन that you have your card statements or the uh, payment receipts or the invoices which are mostly used in our day to day life so this application is going to help you organize those in systematic manner and provide you the detailed analysis so that you can decide where to spend your money wisely okay this is the application that is going to solve this purpose i couldn't wait any longer you know to showcase you guys this application let's roll on to this uh, end output how is it going to look like once we complete this application so switching on to the output this is the application that i'm talking about which is the organize simple so as soon as we enter on to this ui part of our application the first page that we'll be seeing is the register page that's where we first put in our username and password and try to get into this application so let's say now you know i'm just going to uh, create a new username let's name this as test organize okay and uh, password i'm just going to give uh, some password so on clicking on this sign up we are going to create that user and directly navigate the user to this dashboard page so this is the dashboard page how is it going to look so you see the gist of our application organized simple on the left part the sidebar is having a mainly two sections which is the pipelines and the structured data pipelines is going to signify you what is the state of our document that it is in So we have here three states one is the text recognition stage and then the data extraction stage and after which the verification uh, stage the next section is the structured data we are mainly focusing in this application on three structured data parts which is the receipts it can be of uh, your restaurants or payment receipts or anything groceries or anything and next is the invoices be be it your online invoices or anything uh, that you do post purchase uh, online okay the most important thing is the card statements so this uh, are the three uh, structured data that we are going to see how we can categorize and identify the text from these parts and this is the dashboard so you can see now we don't have any documents in pipelines or uh, we don't have any data extractions okay and also here we have a setting sections so this setting sections it's going to help us to choose which model from our open ai apis to use for respective parts so here as i said the core important sections in our uh, data identification from the documents is text classification so we do have an option to choose from either gpt 3.5 Turbo or GPT 3.5 Turbo 16K uh, context length. Okay, same for the data extraction. What is the model that we wanted to go ahead with, and uh, the for the verification as well. What is the model that we wanted to go with? Okay, so by default, these are the uh, model that we'll be selecting, and also, do we want one shot learning to be enabled for each of the type? That is. receipts invoices or card statements so what is one shot learning it's basically providing the a pre template what is that you are expecting from the output of the particular uh, model output okay just giving it an example saying that you know this is the input and this is the output i'm going to uh, expect from your uh, example so that is the one shot learning that just we are trying to enable for receipts invoices or card statements okay so once we select this we can just click on save preferences and uh, we are going to keep track of the preferences that user has entered so this is the section page so now let's not wait any longer let me showcase you the main power of this application 
so now i'm going to upload this the documents few documents to help us understand how was it going to identify the each part here the receipts invoices and card statements so you see here we have an option to take the files in the bulk or in the individual files so here we'll be uploading the files to our s3 bucket the aws simple storage service will be using it and will store those uh, files in there now i wanted to directly showcase you the bulk pro processing so here i'm just selecting this uh, bulk processing and you see here max at a time we can upload uh, 10 uh, pdf files okay now i'm just going to have this uh, three files selected so that is the each example for each uh, uh, type which is the invoice example receipt uh, example and then the uh, simple card statement so as soon as uh, i select them you see uh, the files that we have selected are uploaded and we have an option to uh, discard them as well okay so now let me click on this upload so what it's going to do is it's going to upload all the files to our s3 bucket okay so if i just uh, showcase you uh, the files that are uploaded into this uh, bucket so switching on if i just refresh here so this is the bucket that uh, i am uploading it to so here these are the three files that uh, the files have been uploaded okay so now let's go back so now we have the files uploaded so you see here as soon as we have uploaded the file sits in our dashboard section these are the documents that do we have in this application next you see here the status what is the status that this each uh, document is in now is it this is in to extract uh, status all the three documents and uh, once we click on this process it's going to start the first process which is the text recognition so you see here this was smart enough that we did use the uh, gpt 3.45 turbo 16k model to identify the text and help us categorize into three buckets so here this was automatically categorizing into the receipt so this uh, step was done and also the text uh, uh, data extraction you see here the stage we are in okay once i confirm this this is where uh, the start stage you know that is the data extraction so this is going to identify the data present in our receipt and extract the data using this model uh, the gpt 3.5 uh, turbo 16k so let's wait for this so you see this was successfully uh, extracted the data now going to the next step this is where very important for us you know you see what was the pdf uh, file we did upload we will be having this pdf view and also the text view that the data was extracted so this is going to be very uh, visually pleasing uh, for the file that we did upload and the right side you can see the structured data that we did extract from the uh, this pdf so if you see the from uh, the uh, the was the person and what is the category you see here you know we have a retail groceries restaurants cafe or other things that we can uh, put this uh, receipt into and uh, what is the date that it was you know uh, created the uh, receipt and uh, and also the what are the items you see it was very clear what did we get from the pdf okay so this is how we'll be identifying and identifying the info from this uh, pdf and you see you have an option to modify it as well so let's say somehow it was not good enough to identify uh, all parts of the text present in the pdf then we have an option to edit it or even the option to delete it and uh, this is going to be structured data okay so once we have this structured data identified properly you can see here food hey you know food b you know food c a drink D, a drink A on all the quantity and the price and amount. Uh, it's correctly uh, extracted, and you see here, you know, uh, for the uh, few things, if you feel uh, the total or the uh, uh, is not correct, you can just edit like this. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. So now we are uh, we have identified the text correctly. So let me confirm this. So as soon as I confirm we can see the data for the receipts 
in the state of the extracted so you see here latest data extractions and now if i go to the structured data results this is where we'll be providing the detailed analysis pertaining to this receipts category so you see what is the average monthly expense that we are spending on this receipts it can be on the restaurants the cafe or whatever uh, that i did show and what is the most uh, 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 category uh, expense expensive category for us and also the category distribution so where is it that we are mostly uh, spending our money and where is our money going on and uh, so this is uh, the more statistics you know which is the uh, highest total amount that we are spending and uh, here this is going to be the list of the receipts that we have uh, uploaded and now we have an option to uh, see this uh, uh, data that was extracted as well so this is the receipt that we did upload and uh, now if you want the pdf to be displayed as well we can see here the pdf you know which is going to be really amazing application trust me you're going to learn a lot of software engineering and lot of uh, development experience from this uh, application okay so either we have an option to delete as well and also the edit option so if you just click on this edit so as i said you can again edit this part in case if the data was misidentified from the pdf okay so this is the option so now once i close this so let's quickly uh see you can see here you know few of them uh, in the data extraction stages you see here we have the uh, two uh, examples which is for the uh, sample card and uh, other for the invoice uh, sample now we can just click on this process and it's going to do the same like uh, we did for the uh, the just the previous application so now it was correctly classified as a card statement so if you if did this fail in a categorization we can just go ahead and change manually to whatever the category it belongs to and now let's go uh, go to the data extraction stage so this is the place where again uh, as i mentioned it's going to identify the data uh, present in our card statement and help us give the uh, text present in our pdf uh, detailedly okay so let's wait for it to extract the text fine uh, the text has been successfully I, I identified you know let's uh, click on this continue and uh, you see here this was the pdf view you know this is our card statement and uh, uh, the text view so this was the text extracted from our uh, the uh, pdf of this uh, card statement and again uh, you see here on the right part what is the structured data so if you just see uh, here uh, the name of the uh, the statement and also the address you know reci uh, recipient and uh, the credit card and the transactions you can see the purchases and uh, totally everything you know whatever the structure we do define uh, eventually you will know what is the structure will be having for each category according to that this will be extracting and it's going to give us the total amount that did uh, cost for us okay so uh, so you see here you know this is what uh, it's going to be and in case as i said it's not correct we can just uh, edit these details and also you know have this uh, detail correctly okay so not all the times it's going to work but again as i said we have the flexibility to edit this uh, pdf so that's where this really kicks in we you can just identify and uh, add again uh, more transactions and again uh, edit this delete this that is the option that will be providing to the user so once i confirm this we will be uh, having this uh, you know data populated in our card statements uh, section okay so this is again you know where is it our uh, mostly monthly expenses is going on the category distribution and the statistics here which is the highest total amount and most expensive category here and also the uh, recurrent transaction what is it we are performing and in the table you know the order that we wanted to based on the ascending descending okay like if you wanted to toggle this uh, column we have an option for that and if you see here for the view part again if i want the number back i can just have and i we have an option to select the rows per page and uh, the page we are currently on you know toggling between these uh, navigating between these uh, pages and as i already showed the view for the file that we did upload the pdf okay and again the option to edit so 
the as much as flexibility as possible for the user we are providing it okay the same uh, now we can do it do the same for the invoice and uh, invoice also it's going to be same so once we uh, process that the same way uh, this data will be populated so let me uh, process this so i'm just going to uh, go to our dashboard so here i'm just going to click on this so we will uh, compensate for each category so it was identified as the invoice and i'm just going to go to the step two which is for the uh, structured data extraction let's wait for it to complete so once it gets completed we'll be able to see the text identified from this invoice and we can verify the text and also have the option to edit the text but in this case uh, yeah fine so it does take some time to identify the uh, text to process the text present in it sometimes we might see the uh, failure so we can just click on the retry thing and get it done so it was successful so now here uh, so this is the uh, the invoice and uh, the invoice number what was the category and the date then the from whom it was and to which guy okay and the items present in it and what is the total amount of this uh, invoice okay so this and again uh, going to the uh, text that it did pass from this pdf so this is going to be uh, this pdf view and the text view so i'm just going to uh, click on this and we even we can verify if the uh, data is correctly identified or not okay so let's go back to the dashboard so these are the uh, latest data extraction we did and you see here uh, the categories uh, that was uh, we have in a filter to only select certain categories so here the receipts invoices or the uh, card statement so you see here i did just select the uh, card statement okay and also view and also we can just filter by the file name here so if i just uh, click on this uh, invoice we have the option to filter it and again uh, to view this each file and the option to uh, delete this okay so we are will be seeing the prompt to delete it okay and uh, fine so this was the uh, way that i wanted to convey you how we are going to build this application what is this application about okay now the interesting part okay let's go to the ask section this is where you will have the things you wanted on your data in a just a single sentence okay let's say that you wanted to know what is the most expensive uh, receipt you have in this data that you have uploaded so this is going to analyze all the data present in our dashboard and give us the details pertaining to the question that you have asked so here you see that your most expensive receipt is this at the restaurant and the total amount on this is 9495 so if i just go back here you can see this was the amount and this was the details that it did give so this is going to help us view the data in a simplest manner by analyzing all the data that we did upload so whatever you wanted to know about your data with you are just a question away okay so let's say like you know how many uh invoices do i have okay so let me just query this so we should expect the answer to be one let's see what it's going to say so you see here you have just one invoice so this is how we, we are going to simplify the way we analyze our financial data and see and carefully see where it can go for our better growth okay so this is what i wanted to showcase uh, the application about and this is going to be the very interesting application and in the settings part you know you can even have the option to delete your account okay so this is the application that i wanted to talk about hope you guys will like it and also now i've been listening to you guys you know this application will be building in a more professional manner you know right from the uh, brainstorming uh, sessions you know be it what are the tables that we are going to have in the back end how what is the relationship between them and what are the pages that we'll be having in uh, the front end part and what are the ui components that will be required and what is the way uh, the uh, front end and the back end is going to talk to each other and the overall user flow high level architecture of our application and also 
we will have the pipelines you know ci pipelines continuous integration and continuous deployment pipeline you have be you guys have been asking for deployment so this application i'm going to showcase you how the professionally deployment will be done so we are going to docker dockerize that is we are going to create the docker containers for backend and front end separately and have those as individual services in a docker compose file and deploy them with just one command away and once we deploy that we'll have the application ready so this is going to be really exciting so coming to the technologies that we'll be using to build this application so back end i'm not going to this time have this apis be built inside this nextjs application i'll be using the nextjs to build a standalone api so why i want to go down in this road because down the line if you wanted to build a scalable applications and uh, you wanted to use it for your platform agnostic applications that is a be it mobile be it website be it desktop you want these services to be used across these all applications so that's when the need for the standalone apis would be in need of so that's why i'll be building this apis in next years and i'm going to clearly explain you while we'll be starting this uh, backend uh, development and also you guys wanted the videos not to be completely uh, merged in single video you want the videos in chunks so this time you'll be having that and also i'll be clearly mentioning in the time uh, in the descriptions the timelines that you wanted you'll have all the chunks for the back end you'll have all the chunks for the front end and you'll have the all single video for the back end alone and all single video for the front end alone and combined also you'll have one video so you guys have nothing to worry about all you have to do is stay tuned and uh, be on this channel there'll be lot more exciting content coming up hope you guys will like this application if you did like this please like share and subscribe thank you so much stay tuned i am going to say again you will learn something better which you have never done before thank you so much